Hello, welcome to Plugins for Lab Tech's expiry AD notification demo. Uh, let's take a look at our Lab Tech console here. Uh, first thing we're going to need to do is you're going to need to go visit www.pluginsforlabtech.com. And in our free plugin section here, you'll scroll down and you'll be able to find our expiry AD expiration notifier plugin. Go ahead and select the read more on that. And you'll be able to scroll down through here and grab our download. Let's go ahead and open that up. Got this here and extract our DLL to our desktop. There we go. Okay. Looks good. There we go. There's our DLL. Before we can install our DLL, we need to make sure that it's unlocked or unblocked. So we right mouse click on it. You'll notice down here we get an unblock or an unlock depending on your OS type and whether it's a button or checkbox. Either way, select it and apply and it should clear that all out and make it look more of a, as a normal file properties. Go ahead and hit OK. Afterwards, uh, if you haven't already tried to install it, go ahead and let's go up to the help. But if you have tried to install it and gotten the error that it couldn't install because you didn't unlock it yet, you might want to close down your LT console and reopen it uh, before trying to the installer again through Plugin Manager. Uh, go to Advanced, Manage, Add Plugin, find your expiry and select it. When you do, this one here already sees it installed because it is installed already. Uh, so it wants to either update it this time. So we're not going to worry about updating it because we're good to go. Um, we're, we're able to now use it. Expiry is now here. Uh, it would be, if you were doing a first install, it would be red here. You'd want to highlight it and enable it. And then you would also want to go to Reload Plugins, Reload Database Agent Plugin. And let that complete. Once that's completed, which should show up down here as, uh, as doing the restart, you'd want to close down your entire LT console and relaunch it. All right. So exit, open, let it reload the, the plugins here. As you'll see here, it'll say reloading plugins. And we'll be ready to use the plugin at this point. You do need to restart your database agent. And make sure that the tables and everything that are needed inside the database are created. Otherwise, the plugin may fail. So, the plugin is located at the client level under the tab expiry. There you go. Now, you'll notice here that on this client, I've already set it up and played with it a little bit here. Uh, you'll need to turn on your, your notifier. This turns on or off this client. Uh, for scanning and for actual uh, email notifications. We select an Active Directory server we want to scan from the user's Active Directory list. So, of course, the customer will need to have Active Directory running on a server somewhere, and that server needs to be, will need to show up here for you to activate it. Set how many days you want the email to go out prior to them expiring and the location that you want to scan in their LDAP route for users. You can be, uh, you can scan the users, as you see here with this CN equals users, or you could uh, also uh, do the root domain or any other OU that you want to specify if you have a specific OU that you have users in that you want to scan. Uh, once that's done, apply. It'll show that it's been applied, and then it'll give you the option to run the scan now on the AD server or not, yes or no. Um, I'm not going to run it this time, but if this is the first time you've been you've run it, I would say go ahead and let it run. That way, it'll start it'll start preparing to populate this. It might take five minutes for it to run the scan and get the result populated. Meantime, while that's off doing that. We can come over here and start filling out our email body so that we can prep our email that we're going to be sending out to our users. Now, in this email, we, we have two special variables. One is the at my name at and the at days left at. These two variables supply the username that you're sending the email to and the number of days they're, 
they have until they're getting ready to expire. You can use these variables in the email as you see here. I claim the username here and I use the days left in a sentence that I'm writing out uh, here to let them know how many days they have left before their password expired. Now I've also used an email header here to pretty make the email a little more pretty and I've also included uh, a URL link here for instructions on how to reset your password via the Active Domain Controller's web interface if you happen to have one of those for this particular customer. And then I finish it off with a nice the management as an end all. So once I have this all set and I've applied it, I can then view it in my email viewer to see how it looks like. So I can use email body and email viewer to go back and forth between the two until I've gotten my email just the way I want it, the spacing, the text, the wording, and all sorts so of other information that I might provide within that email. Uh, and then I can also see that I get my nice little my email header and everything shows up as well. So I get to see what the user is going to see minus the variables that we've set here uh, when the email goes out to the user. Now, assuming that my scan has completed on my 250 Drone 1 machine, Active Directory server, I should have results. I'm going to click. Sure enough, there's my last scan time. Uh, how many users it found in the OU that I had set or the Active Directory container that I've set to scan. How many users are expiring now? How many users have hit negatives? Uh, or how many users are within the uh, coming up close to the uh, the within 14 days of the date that are the range time that I've set here in the configure, which is five days. So I can start to get an idea of kind of where people are at and which persons or people will get uh, emails uh, during their uh, acting and during their hit. Now the email that goes out. It's scanning every day on this machine uh, for uh, updates, and so every day it will run a scan and verify where the dates are automatically. You do not need to set that up. It's doing it in the background. And on the day that it finds the person missing, so when this date here, this, this box here matches this box here, that email will fire off for that day. Once that, once that goes beyond that, so let's say if we have it set to five, this hits five, this person will get an email. When this person hits four, it no longer emails them anymore. So they're only going to get the one email. Uh, we did have it in previous versions set to anything less than, and what would be happening was is that they would continuously every day get emails until their number was brought back up to, to present. Uh, that could become a problem as users showing zeros because they're either never logged in with that user account. And so since Jack the Ripper has never logged in before, his password is probably sitting there waiting for him to change it the first time, and he has no days. And it's, he's going to stay zero days forever until he logs in the first time and sets that value in Active Directory. So new users or users that have multiple accounts, if that second or third account isn't logged in correctly or has been logged in with a user password, then this time stamp might or this day stamp might not have been set. And as such, it could show up as zero regularly. And when that happens, that person would have gotten an email continuously every single day. It becomes a huge problem. A uh, person doesn't want to get those emails. So that's why we stop at just the day only. Uh, and not continue on past that, sending them notices every day until they expire um, uh, due to that one fact. We, do, we did stop at negative one, uh, unfortunately, uh, with that particular hiccup in Active Directory where a user could have multiple accounts and not logged in, uh, forwarding emails and so forth. You could create emails that went out every day to people and it would get annoy, uh, annoying. Uh, so, to prevent that, we only email on the actual day stamp that we have set here. Uh, and we only send out one for that user. Once they've updated that password, that will reset. They'll get past that five-day mark, and they'll start counting back down towards that five days. 
that's pretty much it. It's all automatic from there. Once you've turned it on for a customer and you have results here, as long as your scan dates are regular uh, and you check your scan dates here, that means that the scan went out that day, emails for that day would have gone out as well. So as long as this scan date is equal to or no more than less than one day old from the time that you are viewing this particular plugin, then that scanning services should be handling the emails as well as updating and populating this list as users come and go and as uh, days change for those particular users. Uh, make sure that you, for users to show up in this list, they must in Active Directory have the email field filled out, not the primary uh, uh, username, that is normally the user at the domain, whatever, but the actual email address field inside of Actuary. If that field is blank, they will not show up in this list. Um, so keep that in mind as well. If you have missing users, you're trying to figure out why you have eight, you have eight users in an OU and only five are showing up in your list here. Why are the other three not showing up? That would be the first field I would check is go into their Active Directory general settings, users and computers, pull that user's properties up and see if on that main properties window, general properties for that user, the email section down at the bottom has a valid email address listed there. Once that's done on the next scan, the machine should pick that up and bring in, and import that user into our system here so that it can be reported on. That is the Active Directory Password Expiration Notifier. Hopefully that this, this application will save you guys some time preventing users calling in on Mondays mornings with emails that don't work and other accesses that don't work to come to find out they forgot to set their password. Hopefully it will save you a few tickets and a lot of time on your busy Monday mornings. Uh, enjoy. Let us know if you have any other uh, issues with it. See us at www.pluginsforlabtech.com. And if you need support, please see support at our support.pluginsforlabtech.com as well. Join our forums. Each of our plugins has a support form here that you can use to... Uh, to uh, get help and support on a plugin uh, that you're using if you have any problems. Thank you very much and have a nice day.